Hi guys, Techzilla back again. Um, I've got a sort of semi-review of a case I got for the Galaxy Note 7. Um, obviously I haven't tested it because the Note 7 is not out yet. Um, but I thought I'd share it with you guys. Um, it literally it's just been delivered within the last five minutes. So I thought I'd film a quick video. Um, I spoke to Samsung in the US. And they said that the pre-orders open next week probably on Tuesday when they got the unveiling event um, but the phone's not released until the 22nd of August and that's from Samsung directly so I know a lot of people out there are thinking it's coming out on the um, 2nd of August it, it's pre the pre-orders I think open on the 2nd um, that's what Samsung USA have told me um, in the UK Samsung have said they they don't know anything um, the actual customer service guys I've spoken to they're not sure but anyway um, I picked this up from Amazon uh, it's the Rugged Armor by Spigen for the Galaxy Note 7 I've already taken the case out usual Spigen packaging I'll leave a link in the description below where you can pick this up from it's really cheap at the moment I think it's $5.99 um, I've ordered the entire Spigen range uh, which should come pretty soon um, I've also ordered the entire v uh, VRS range of cases as well um, I know a lot of you guys out there are going to be getting the Note 7 so it's probably best if you pre if you order these these cases now before they you know how stock gets when the, when the phone comes out it'll go crazy um, anyway, let me just show you a picture on the front. That's the actual Note 7 with the case on. So you can see that, guys. It's a usual rugged armor case, and here's the actual case itself. One of my favorite cases this is of all time, the rugged armor. I get this for all my phones. Usual inside Spigen web design for shock absorption. You got the air cushion technology that's written in there in the corners. The back is a matte TPU, so it doesn't get fingerprints but feels really nice in hand. Spigen logo just there. You got your carbon fiber look top and bottom. You got your cutout there for the noise cancelling mic, I'm guessing. Power button on this side. You can see that there. You've got your cutout for your headphone jack, charging port, microphone, speaker and S Pen. And on this side you just got your volume buttons up and down. The camera cutout has got a slight raised bezel on it to protect the camera, obviously. You can see that there, very slightly. And this side, it slopes in a little bit so you can use the finger uh, fingerprint sensor the blood pressure or heart rate monitor sorry what am i thinking this is a highly recommended case even though i haven't got the note 7 yet it's not out because i've used it for so many cases i've used i've got it for my htc uh, 10 i've got it for the uh, galaxy s7 edge as well now, just out of interest, here's a sort of size comparison between the S7 Edge with a case on against the Note 7 case. Now, you take a little bit out or for the... They're not that dissimilar in size. The Note 7 is going to be a bit wider because if I put this over, my S7 Edge has already got a case on it. A minimalist case, if you can see that right and top and bottom um, I've left that on there for a reason so you get a better sort of fit in this case so if I put this around this phone and the case that the phone's in it gives you a sort of rough look at what it looks like so there's the camera cut out there with the flash and the heart rate monitor obviously it'd be a little bit different but it's giving you a rough idea 
Um, obviously the cutouts are not going to match properly. But it's interesting as this is very, very thin, this case. That's what I'm finding surprising. Actually, you know what? Let me take the this case off my S7 Edge so you guys can get a better look. I'll give you guys a better sort of idea. So the Note 7 is not going to be actually that much bigger than the S7 Edge. It's going to be a lot more square looking by the looks of it. Um, I know everyone's seen the leaks and stuff. It's going to be about, looks like it's going to be about the same thickness as well as the Edge 7. But there's a little bit extra room at the top there, if you can see that. So that kind of gives you a rough idea. If I move that down a bit. Now imagine that, what that looks like with an S7, uh, Note 7 in there. It's pretty much how the camera is probably going to look and the flash on the Note 7. So overall guys, highly recommend it. As I said, I'll leave the link in the description below. Go check that out. Um, it's not obviously a proper review. It's just a sort of unboxing if you like. Um, and just to advise you guys, get the cases now, the screen protectors now before the Note 7 comes out and the prices speaking are charging they've got loads of introductory special offers on at the moment for Note 7 cases for me it's a no-brainer you might as well pick them up now I mean some of the cases are like one or two pounds they're charging one pound fifty and speaking usually are like 10 15 pounds and I've ordered one of everything um, I should have them all before the Note 7 comes out so if you guys want to Hit that subscribe button down below please do so um, I'll keep you abreast of screen protectors cases etc um, I've got about 15 16 cases on order at the moment this is the first one to turn up the rest of them I should have um, by next week or some of the cases by next week and check out my other re reviews I've done on the s7 edge accessories headphones etc guys anyway give me a thumbs thumbs up, take care, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.